At a gate, I want to cross the gate, but the, the gate leads straight into a stream, so... Here we go, back again, with another match day vlog. Yes, I'm out and about on my run today, nice run in the morning. I've got to go to Asda in a bit to do the weekly shopping and get a few cans for the live stream. As you see, it's daffodil heaven. It's daffodil heaven, but it's Good Friday. Now, I'm going to stay off the meat today in Good Friday, have a little bit of fish during the day. I've had Weetabix this morning, a little bit of fish later on, vegetable pizza, that kind of thing. Am I religious? Well, I'm Catholic, but I'm, you know, I lost my faith a long time ago. Did I lose my faith? Not really. I'm not quite sure. I'm, I'm like sort of open to suggestions. What do you think? Do you think there's a higher power? Do you think there's a God? I love to think there is a higher power out in this world, but I kind of doubt whether there is. But let's hope there's a higher power. It's with Lee Johnson in the Sunderland side and we can get promoted back to the championship. Yeah, so when I was a little wee kid, I used to go to church with my parents, well, my mum anyway, because my mum's very Catholic, my, my grandparents are Catholic and I was brought up a Catholic. But when I turned 11, my parents got divorced and we stopped going to church and we kind of lost our way a little bit. The path is straight and narrow, as you can see, people who are religious, everyone, each to their own, there's no right or wrong, you know, if you want to be religious, not, whatever you want, you know, end of the day, you live your own life, you enjoy your own life, and at the end of the day, when you're taken away from this world, you know, you have to pay, you have to, you may have to pay, do you have to pay, you may have to pay a penance, you may have to pay, you know, see the big guy upstairs, and he'll decide whether you go to hell or heaven, hopefully, Hopefully, like I said, there's a higher power, or is there only one power at Sunderland, and his name is Maximus Power, the captain of Sunderland. Can he drive Sunderland forward into the top two position today with a victory against Oxford? I'm going for a 2-0 win. Can Peterborough slip up? Will Hull slip up? We have four goals difference worse off than Hull. Level with Peterborough. It's all about results. We need the gear. I'm very nervous. I, this is the most nervous I've ever been. You know, in, 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 in two games coming up with ten games to go. This is the squeaky bum time. This is where it really matters. Where it really matters, and we need at least four points in these two games. But I say I'm going for two 0 win against Oxford. You know, respect the Carl Robinson and the Oxford side playing good football coming through now compared to the bad start of the season. I do wish Oxford fans all the best. One Oxford fan, I don't really wish all the best, is Stuart Donald. Stuart Donald, yes. Who would he really want to win today? Sunderland or Oxford? Hmm, I don't know. I really don't know with this block. Well, let's hope the Sunderland side, if it is a higher power out there, is not struck down today against Oxford because we desperately need the three points. Nobody has the divine right to win a game of football, to win the league. You have to earn the right to win a game of football. You have to earn it, you have to have the dedication. You know, you have to have the will, the want, the drive, the ambition. And I think Lee Johnson and KLD has that kind of drive and ambition to take something forward into the championship. And like I said, on the Sunday bunch or the Thursday bunch, I don't think KLD wants to get promoted to the championship to be in the bottom of the table. I think he will pull Sunderland through first season if, a big if mind, we get promoted to the championship, I think we will be mid-table next season. Like I said, I'm out in the bottom of me run. I'm about to go to Asda now, do a bit of essential shopping. I will show you what's in the trolley today. But, like I said, I am a little bit religious. I was brought up religious. Everyone, it's every, not everybody's cup of tea. And everyone, you know, everyone has their own opinion on everything in the world. And we all respect everybody's opinions. Well, we should anyway respect the opinions, so long as they're law-abiding citizens. <laughs> I said before, I do hope there's a higher power out there, but this moment in time, the only power we have to believe in is Maximus. Right, I'm off to Asda, catch you in a bit. Like I said, I'm out on my jollies today, I'm for a run, it's about four mile, and I've come to a, a little a, a gate, I want to cross the gate, but the, the gate leads straight into a stream, so I won't be crossing that stream, but like something, I want to bridge the gap to Peter Bower and Hull, but oh look, there's a bridge over there, that bridge is the gap, let's get over the bridge and we'll catch you in a bit. Well here we go, it's match day, I'm off to Asda, do a little bit of a sense of shopping and try and find a few cans for the live stream. Oh, what's in the trolley so far? Crisps, pop, waffles, bread, I'm sure there's some chocolate in there somewhere. And now I'm going to my favourite aisle, which is the alcohol aisle. There we go, nothing more satisfying than a boot full of food. Apart from my wallet, isn't very happy now. Oh, goal! Aiden Magic McGeady, goal! Get him, McGeady, you beauty! Wahey! Yo! 
I'll back up now and give a brother room. My fuse is lit and it's about to go. Boom! Mercy, mercy, mercy me! My life is a stage but on cage I'm free. My life is a cage but on... Here we go, back again with another match review and it's finished Sunderland 3, Oxford 1. And I put a coupon on today. I put £5 on Sunderland to win, Portsmouth to win, Peterborough to win, Hull to win. And I've won £45. So I'm happy with that. But, Chrismations. 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 Chris. I can't even say the word. I said it, I said it on my live stream. I nailed it on my live stream. Chrismations. I still can't say it, for God's sake. I would have been happy. I would have been happy when Sunderland scored 2 1 in the last 10 minutes to win 2 1 and for Hull and for Peterborough to draw. And I would have been happy to lose the money, to lose £5. There's £5. Take it. Sunderland go in the top two all day long. But Chrismations. Chrismations. Ah! I got £45 because they all won and Hull scored 91 minutes. Peterborough scored 89 minutes. You couldn't make it up. Sunderland scored in the last five minutes or last seven minutes and their two managers went, Sunderland have scored. You've got to score. And Clark Harris nailed it for Peterborough and then Hull scored in injury time. Oh. You, couldn't, you couldn't make it up. But in the first half, you would never have thought in a million months of Sundays, never mind a good Friday or a great Friday, that we were going to win this game 3-1 because we were awful in the first half. I want to give credit to Carl Robinson. He had his Oxford side playing good football in the first 45 minutes or the first 45 minutes against Sunderland. It was the first 45 minutes. Oxford, for me, were the better side. We were disjointed. It was like, you know when you have a holiday, and you go back to work, you have a week off, you have a holiday, you relax, you chill out, you don't do much, and you go back to work the first Monday of your holiday, and you feel really slouchy and lethargic and tired, you just want to go to bed. That's what I think Sun's performance was in the first half, it was shocking. There was only two good players, like I said before, I said before that the two good players, McLaughlin and Jones, Colin McLaughlin and Jones were the best two players in the first half, they linked together really well I saw a good combination Jones with his pace with his drive with the skill to beat players McLaughlin back from international duty looks fresh looks fit looks really good and you know apart from those two players our midfield of power and scowling were pretty poor because they got the ball in the counter attack they drove through the centre of the park and they put the ball past Burge it was 1-0 to Oxford and I kind of blame Burge. It was a brilliantly taken goal from the Oxford player. Well done, Oxford. The first half, you deserve to be in front. You deserved to sort of, you know, end of the day, you played us off the park in the first half. This is my opinion. Apart from the two players, Oxford were the best side. But with seconds, dying embers to go in the first half. McLaughlin found Jones. Jones ran through and somehow Gooch drove towards the goal, he drove towards the goal, intercepted the goalkeeper just before, slotted the ball home, 46 minutes gone, one's a pitch, we didn't deserve it, I'll be honest, Oxford were the best side, we were pathetic, but we got the equalising goal with seconds to go, and I'll take it, I'd take it all day long, relief, second half, I thought, yes, get the players into the changing rooms, Lee Johnson, sort out this dismal first half performance, Get them playing better football. Second half comes out. It was on Oxford again. Oxford again on the front foot. First 10 minutes until Charlie White was one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Into the penalty box. And the Oxford player made a fantastic challenge. I thought it was a penalty. You know, Mr. Danny Collins and Mr. Fredericks on the, on the SFC live stream thought it was a penalty. But it wasn't. It was an amazing challenge from the Oxford defender. Well done. One or two of their players had a yellow card in the first half. Bit of, bit of shenanigans here and there. Straight from that free kick, they went forward in our penalty box. Luke O'Nan gets the ball. Their player goes in with two foot Sykes. Two foot a challenge. Hacks down Luke O'Nan. Referee, red card to Sykes. They go down to 10 men. Referee, Carl Robinson, is sent off. They go down to 
10 men with the with their manager off the pitch as well off the sidelines and then we had it was Gooch right hand side was moved back to right back because Conor McLaughlin was taken off it was substituted it took one for the team taken off Gooch was moved back to right back and we brought on we brought on Ross Stewart up front but with Gooch right back he drove down the right hand side Got the ball in the box, cleared, come to McGeady. Or did it go to the right hand side? And, and, and Gooch found McGeady. McGeady straight in, right foot, bang, bottom right hand side corner of the net. 2 1 to Sunderland. And at that moment in time, I mean, Jones hit the crossbar before that as well. At that moment in time, it was 2 1 to Sunderland. <clears throat> Hull were one to Peach. Peterborough were nose to Peach. And I thought, yes. This is going to be not a good Friday, a great Friday. We are going on to be inside the top two. But I couldn't, you couldn't make it up. You could not make it up. Peterborough scored with Clark Harris in the last minute of normal time, 89 minutes. And even worse than that, Hull. Oh, Hull scored in 91 minutes. I want to coop enough Hull, Peterborough, Portsmouth and Southern to win 45 quid. But I would have sacrificed that all day long. Take one for the team. For Sunderland to move in the top two. We don't redo the business against a hard, difficult side. And what can I say? What can I say? You know, it makes the match on Monday even more so important. A draw against Peterborough wouldn't be a bad result. But I won three points. Now, performances to Dear Lee Burge. Again, was good in goal. You couldn't fault him for the goal. I'm giving Lee Bird seven and a half. McFadzine. What did he do wrong, to be fair? I don't know. I give him a seven. I think he was a bit anonymous. McLaughlin, for the time he was on the pitch, coming back from international duty, he's probably tired. I give McLaughlin an eight. Sanderson 09, good double pairing, centre of defence. Do you want 09 in defence and midfield? That's another subject to debate. Both of them. Seven and a half. Then we go on to Gooch. Got the goal. Didn't do great. But he got on the right hand side for the ball. McGeady got the goal. Assist. He got, he got an assist. And he got a goal. Gooch got an assist and a goal. So you cannot, you cannot knock the lad. You cannot knock the lad. He gets a goal and he gets an assist. So what do you do? What do you do? Even though I thought Jones was good. I'm going to give Gooch eight and a half. Eight and a half out of ten. I thought Gooch today, you're getting an assist, you're getting a goal. For me, you deserve to be man of the match. You do. You have to be man of the match. You get a goal and you get an assist, you deserve man of the match. Scowling, a bit anonymous. One or two gritty challenges, one or two times to give the ball away. I'm going to give him a six. Power, got his goal towards the end. Clean one on one with the keeper. Shot, keeper saved it. Back on the net, power, six and a half. Wasn't fantastic, but he did he did a captain's role. And when he scored the goal, he went down to the dugout, went down on his knees, and he celebrated. I like I oh, he won the lottery. So I know credit where credit's due. Credit where credit's due. We'll give him a seven. A seven out of ten. Like, you know, it didn't get much didn't get much sort of sort of help, assists. So we'll give Wyke, you know, he, had, he didn't have a great game. Didn't have a poor game. We'll give him a seven. McGeady with the goal because he had a poor game before the goal. We'll give him a seven. Jones, I thought Jones deserves an eight. Jones looked good. He looks, he looks effective, dangerous, piercy. Balls in the box, hit the crossbar. Did everything but score. We'll give him an eight. Players who came on. McGuire did really well when he came on. Led bit a couple of seconds. Stewart. First touch header straight to the keeper. So overall, we finished Sunderland 3, Oxford 1. We don't change in the table. We get one goal difference above Peterborough. We bring back Hull. Hull up plus 3 over Sunderland. And we move on to this massive, massive match on Monday against Peterborough. Which ways are going to go? I don't know. I don't know. We just hope we do not lose. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Please take care. God bless. And may God go with you. New channel coming up soon. It's called Mads World. I will leave the link down in the description. Please subscribe. Take care. And we'll catch you later.